Hi, I'm Pearl Dexter. I've had a tea room. I've published a magazine all about tea. I worked as a tea consultant for USAID in Nepal, and now I'm here doing YouTube videos all about tea. But today I thought I'd break out from teaching people about the actual beverage tea, because I've traveled all over the world learning about tea from bush to cup. But I thought I'd bring out some of my teapot collection to show you and have some fun. But I'd also like to invite you, the subscriber and the viewer, to send us your photos of your collection, your teapots, and your little stories about how you acquired them. And if you'd like, even a photo of yourself. And we would like to edit those and include those in a possible video in the future. So today I want to show you first my favorite teapot. And I brought today from my collection what they call novelty teapots. But all of these teapots are usable except one. This is my favorite teapot. It was given to my mother because my mom had 12 children and I am number 11. And she was also from a family of 12. She was number 11. This teapot, the little old woman who lived in a shoe, is from England. And it has two doors to this little cottage that the little old woman living in the shoe lives in. And I have used this teapot. It's by Lingard Potteries, and it's from the 1930s. When my mom passed away, I found this in her collection and I discovered two dollars, two single dollar bills in it. I put those away so that I will never ever be broke. And my second favorite teapot is another teapot from England, and this is Gypsy Ware, and it is from the Sadler Company. The Sadler Potteries is a very famous English potter, and it has two different sides also to this teapot. It was given to my mom and to me because we have this love of tea and teapot collecting, but also because it depicts what we as Americans did as we went across the country in those Conestoga wagons. And this teapot, this little lovely mama duck, is another teapot in my collection and it is by an artist called Takahashi, and he's from Japan, but he worked out of San Francisco, but I do believe the teapots were actually made in Japan, and this is probably from the 1980s, but I'm not quite sure on the date. This is another English teapot. I lived in England for a while, so that's why I have so many English teapots, and this is from a potter um, called Kensington Potteries. And again, it has a front door and it has a back door. And this teapot I have used many times in my home. Now this last teapot is the only teapot I cannot use. I'm sure many of you recognize it as the White House. And this is the one side of the White House and that's the other side of the White House. But when I purchased this teapot in Boston in the 1990s, I discovered when I went to use it for the very first time, it leaked. I've had a lot of fun showing you my collection, and I hope that you folks will please send me your images of teapots, and I want to thank you again for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until the next time, I don't have a cup of tea today, so I am going to raise my mother's teapot. Until the next time, cheers.